up, what up, what up, Pontiac Man 7272, coming back at you again with another video, you got it, you got it, yeah, you got it. Okay, you guys. Pontiac Man 72, 72 coming back at you again with another video. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Y'all got it. Okay, you guys. Here is, I want to say, the majority of the things that I have to install uh, on my 72 Pontiac. Here are the seat buckles that I would have to restore the buckles, paint, and rebadge them here they go here's also my glove compartment that I've uh, repainted um, the door and the glove compartment there it is um, let's see we have as you can see right here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit the window cranks for all Two doors in the front and the back windows. Here are uh, the original mirrors off of a 71 Cutlass that I bought, um, but they also work for my 72 Pontiac. So I'm going to have these repainted the same color as my vehicle. Um, I have a lot of hardware that I have, nuts and bolts, stuff for my windows. Uh, these are the Rubber bushings for the vehicle, trunk, doors, hood, chrome pieces, uh, the the door, um, the door guards for my doors, uh, they're not door guards, but um, they are the door handles uh, for pulling on the doors um, to close them. Um, I also have the pillars for the inside the the window along the edges these are pieces for the the back side of my on each side of my uh, the rear seat here is the wood grain shifter console piece here's another shifter that I'm after market shift that I'm installing in the car um, it's a uh, quick steel shifter um, also have a gauge and uh, tack gauge with the shift light here are the the door seals you see the door seals uh, for the for the carpet what else do I have oh here we go I have the door panels and the rear panels for the inside of the vehicle. These have been redone to the original specs. Uh, the tape along the bottom where the carpet is, um, there's a strip of chrome right there. He told me don't take that off until I fully install these doors, which he could have done himself. But I guess lazy is what lazy does. But overall, he did a pretty good job. Um, here are some of the, the chrome pieces that I would have to install back in my window sill in order for me to put on my um, weather stripping. Okay, and I'm going to show you, which they are kind of a mess right now, um, my visors, my sun visors. Um, I have to, they're supposed to be black. They're really dirty right now. I have to re-dye them. Um, this is my... Uh, ashtray and this goes underneath my dashboard so like a kick uh, it's a kick panel and where is that light that light let's go back this way again excuse my floor this is the infamous light that 
my wife wants me to put back in my vehicle. I told her, don't worry about it. Looks like I have a turbo installed in my vehicle. And there's my Buick Park Avenue. See that? She wants me to put a headlight in. So I will. Okay. And she's going to kill me about this yard. Uh, and last but not least, you know, they said it's saved the best for last. Um, in the end result, when you're finished putting all the interior in, here is the wood grain steering wheel. Okay. The Pontiac horn piece. And that should be it. And that should be all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And you know, as I finish, always finish my videos, I always say, what? Yeah, you got it. You got it. Y'all got it.